time to get back out to our audience now. Now, Stephanie, Stephanie came with a question. When I say bring your questions on home day, this is what I'm talking about, okay? What did you bring in your bag there, Steph? A brick of my house. <laughs> Stephanie brought a brick because she's looking for help with her exterior. Okay, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So why don't you go ahead and ask Eric for the help you need for your exterior? I'm hoping for uh, suggestions around color for the new shop and for our doors, any suggestions for landscape and decorating it up. That's just the new shop we have, so. All right, Eric, you got a brick. There you go. Well, Let's you see this, this corner of the house right here is, missing is, a, is a little lower right now. <laughs> And so I'd really suggest jacking that back up. <laughs> um, so this is a really classic, traditional Ontario farmhouse. And I'm sure you've got a long driveway and you actually see the house from a distance. Yes. So I'm going to go contrary to my usual thing of hating white trim, because if you take the white trim off this house, it will become invisible. Okay. And there's not enough trees around it to make it that, mm -hmm. you know, in the woods, let's not see it thing. I think you want to actually see your columns. I think you want to see your trim. Um, what I don't think you need to see, though, is your new shop, because you've actually placed that shop between the house and the uh, barn, and it's just floating here in the middle. And to me, you want to make it look integrated. So I need that brick. OK. Hello. Brick is coming so your way. So I'm actually suggesting that we match the brick for this building so that it kind of resonates as from the road looking like the brick. And the brick color is kind of a combination of those two colors. But because you're going to see it from the road, I'm going to go a little brighter, which actually, if I put this right next to the picture of the house, that will look like the brick of your house. Then I would paint the garage doors the same color as your other garage doors, a dark brown. And that way that building will look very integrated into the whole landscape. Now, your columns on the house, on the other hand, I think need to be white so that you really, you've just put that new porch on. If you, you could even put a white railing on if you want to make that white stand out a little bit more so that you really see it. You could buffer that railing with some plants in front of it. And then if you want it to be daring, your doors are also seen from really far away. And Vana here is going to show you some colors. So I'm saying you could go electric blue on your doors if you wanted to. So Mistral is CC842. Oh, they want you to tip further. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, well, you so you could just do your front door and all of your doors, this blue, just to give it a little pop. Everybody will talk about it. You'll be like, <laughs> you know, you'll be at the coffee shop. Oh, she did the blue doors. Oh, my God. <laughs> did you see her blue doors? Or if you really want to get talked about, you could go crazy green, which is actually a very farm color that used to be the classic color, color to do on white greeneries with green trim. So the green is called garden. Garden green. Not pretty. So I love that idea. You could, uh, and you know what? They're your doors. If and you let really, talk. if you can't handle the gossiping, you can always paint them back to white. <laughs> so good. Okay. Do you like the advice, or do we throw the brick at him? Well, I'm going to throw the brick at him because he, my husband wins the white porch posts. <laughs> he wanted them white. So husband <laughs> <laughs> won on city line. That very rarely happens. Thank you for that, bringing all that in. <laughs>